Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I appreciate you all a great deal and I think of you every day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, career, love, and everything in between. Mondays are something different every week. So one week could be a love reading, another week a law of attraction tarot card reading. A couple of weeks ago, back at the end of August, I posted a four-month predictive for the months of September through December, if you haven't seen that one. It's in a playlist for your convenience. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, please. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the sun, the moon. Oh, that is really cool. So the moon comes right before the sun in order, but we've got 78 cards here. That's already telling us a story. The queen of swords, the seven of cups, the eight of cups. How about the eight of swords? Pardon me on that. Justice, the magician, really powerful stuff, and the Eight of Cups. Well, okay, so we've got four major arcana. That's significant when you only have eight cards. Half of the reading are major life events. There's going to be a big turning point here. But I'm with this, too, you don't see this very often. I'm just going to switch them briefly. We've got Pisces, Libra, Leo here. We've got water and air. Um, with this, though, there's a dawn of a new day. So notice that the moon mirrors the sun. Do you see that? You've got the sun twice. And especially with the magician, this is fabulous. You have a new cycle. You're going to be through a period of time here where more is revealed to you, but your heart's desires are delivered with this energy of the sun. It's gains, it's riches, it's synergy, it's being in the right place at the right time. And so things are definitely going to be moving forward for you. So with the sun energy, it's pure positivity. This is that hell yes card. You've got a little bit of restriction in the reading. So if you're waiting on a decision with the queen of swords and justice, things are going to move forward. Now, if you were in a difficult period, like you got stuck with somebody else's bills or something, I get that with the seven of cups. Eight of Swords, like you didn't see something, because Seven of Cups is take off the rose-colored glasses. Eight of Swords is kind of you're screwed. Um, but what I think about with this is it's like the universe handles that. You don't even need to. So for somebody here, especially if you did get stuck financially by somebody, I feel like you're, I hear that your income triples. Whatever that is, it could be three times what theirs is. It's something significant, though, where you don't have to worry. And so those of you, too, if you're taking a bit of a leap of faith and doing something on your own career-wise, you're going to attract exactly the right people. It's going to go well. I mean, there's nothing, there's no downside with the sun, but it's high vibrational energy. These wavy rays signify vibration and the sunflowers are those energetic magnets to the sun. But when the sun goes down, they point towards each other for support. So those of you too, that this is about a relationship and maybe you've been rather heartbroken or you've been stuck in a stagnant time where you just haven't been attracting the right person, I do feel you have a soulmate coming in. With this energy, it is true joy. And so there's a regeneration. This is going to be a time a new energy becomes available to you, and it feels like gold. I mean, there's nothing better. So with the moon being here, secrets are definitely going to be revealed. And I do feel like if it's something to do with an ex or a former friend or something like that, they're very aware that your life has taken a turn for the better. They didn't stop keeping tabs on you, but hell, I'd say let them. You know, there's no point in blocking them. Let them eat their heart out because here you go. 
So with the moon though, um, these yads or yods of the tarot, these droplets, the first letter of the name of God in Hebrew, they're gifts coming in. So you're going to have new opportunities showing up here. But this is also a card of spirituality too, and it's the sub using the subconscious. Hidden things are going to become known to you. But it's also, I mentioned a couple weeks ago, Joseph Murphy, I believe it is, a book called The Miracles of the Mind. There's other books too, though, um, about influencing your subconscious. And sometimes people say, well, how in the world do I know what's in my subconscious? Well, look around you. Are things starting to shift in your life for the better? That's your subconscious pulling it in. And so with this too, I do feel like you have a it's like a deep connection spiritually, but you're also drawing an energy in, in terms of a relationship. And I feel like both of you bring a lot to the table here. It's somebody who's going to be very sensitive. Their energy feels very compassionate. I do, I see somebody in scrubs, like they might be in the medical field or the dental field or something like that. Um, but I do feel like, or maybe they work in some kind of sales, like medical sales or something. I don't know, but I kept seeing somebody in scrubs. So I do feel like you have someone coming in that you've asked for. You've had a deep desire for a soulmate and they're showing up. So with the Queen of Swords, it's you and your own energy. But it's also very much about getting what you want. And the upright swords, this is very positive, okay? When we see upright swords in the tarot, it's definitely an indication of getting a decision in your favor. For some of you, I do feel like that's related to money. Um, but again, it may not be somebody repaying you if they screwed you out of money. It might just be you saying, I'm going to let that go now because I see where my income is. The universe made it up to me in a different way. I suddenly had access to money I didn't before, and that's okay, but you've learned a lesson here. With the Queen of Swords, you will not repeat the same lesson. She knows pain. You know pain. Okay, whatever it was, but you're turning those wounds into wisdom. And for somebody too, if you have some kind of new virtual platform, I heard virtual platform, I do feel like it's going to really allow you to expand in terms of your career and in terms of just many different areas of your life. So with the queens and kings, they're masters of the suit. You're going to have that mastery over communication, boldness, the truth, and you're going to be unapologetic for it with this. Now, the Queen of Swords, too, I do get kind of an energy around you. It may be somebody who's got a very sharp, kind of sarcastic, funny sense of humor. Um, and they may have a hand in this, too, especially if somebody screwed you over. I feel like somebody around you is going to make sure that they know that you, you, you've you come out of that just fine. So you won't, like I said, you won't even have to do anything. You've got good protection around you. So the Seven of Cups is... It's, it's definitely something about, I mentioned before, not seeing something the way that you needed to. And it created a bit of an illusion. But with the magician being here, you you will not be fooled. With it, Where the Seven of Cups can create illusions, the magician is not stage magic. It's magic with a K, like metaphysical. And so with this, you're going to see exactly what you needed to. Um, with the Eight of Swords being here, Eights are vibration and momentum. I do feel like there was too many people around you giving you bad advice at some point, trying to talk you into some things that your heart was not in agreement with. And so with this Eight of Swords, it can definitely be going against what you really instinctively know and in making choices, even opposing yourself. So be very careful with that because this is not a comfortable energy to be in. And I do feel like it had to do with another person whether it was a job or a friend or a relationship where they, I keep getting that they took money from you. So with this Eight of Swords, things are going to work out just fine. But it is kind of a cautionary card. We don't, tarot's your best friend that tells you the truth. And we definitely don't want to stick around in this. But fortunately, with the Magician, how about Justice first? Pardon me. Justice for you, I feel like, is definitely putting your foot down in a situation. So if it's already, you know, you're kind of in the middle of it, you're not going to let it get any worse with this. But this is also the absolute truth. So any information that you need to have, you will get it. And that way you're going to make the any decisions based on information. It's not guessing. It's not just sort of a hunch. I do feel like there's going to be something that comes forward in terms of a relationship 
with someone who's very trustworthy. So we focused a lot more than I meant to on some kind of a negative situation around you and you really coming out on top of it. But I do want to tell you, especially with the sun and the moon in this, in a relationship, it's built on integrity first. And it's something you've asked for. So those of you that have had and some shaky people attracted to you. This is not. It's someone, again, I mentioned the scrubs earlier, but it also, too, I keep getting that, but it also, too, could be somebody who's, they, they do something where they have to follow a lot of ethics and rules. Maybe they have a license that requires that, too. Um, so with the magician here, you can have, do, or be anything. Absolutely no limits on your life here. It is a new cycle, though, that comes in. And it's law of attraction energy. It's bringing heaven to earth. So I do feel like if you've been through something challenging, which it's in the cards, you're going to meet exactly the right person from you, for you. And you are not going to look back. Now, I mentioned before, this is about getting rid of illusions. It's not creating them. You're going to have a very powerful field of influence. And so with this, in terms of work expansion, if it was something to do with a living arrangement too, you're going to come out on top. You've got the gardens of your mind here that are being cultivated and offered to you. So with the Eight of Cups, we've got the Hero's Journey here. And it may be that what you, again, we got the sun and moon in this too, by the way, which is really unusual, but um, they're telling you it's a new cycle. And so a relationship, again, I feel like you have something very secure coming in. There's real love, yes, but there's something much more trustworthy and secure in a job too, though. So whatever you're asking about, it's not only going to speak to you and say, this is part of your life's journey. You're leaving something that thought you thought might have been what it, you thought it was what you wanted, but it wasn't quite hitting the mark. It's going to be time to move on to something even better. So let's see here, Aquarius, what the angels have to say for you. Messages for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know, please? Advice for Aquarius. Ask for help from others. So you definitely have trustworthy people showing up here. Helpful people too, they say. That's funny. Um, peaceful resolution. So that's that was definitely reflected in the tarot. Within the next few months, things are going to be moving right along for you. They say don't stop. Good things are on the way for you, Aquarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.